What's good, my fellow whoops? All right, today, you know, it's your boy Shadow Ovo. Today, I'm gonna be going over my girl, my baby, my number one warrior, and for honor, no bushy. Now, you see, I'm already going through everything, showing you person prestige one, finally is. Uh, when you play as her, these are the best things to put on her for elimination and dom because that lone bow is going to get you all the kills that you need if somebody's trying to double team or they don't want to come and fight you. Cause we ain't with it, all right? Now, the moves that you see here, Pokeness, always use that. Uh, Cobra Strike, always use. Viper Retreat, one of our best moves to put. I mean, the best move to use on a No Bushy. I fans, everybody use that. You kick, most overused, but most needed and great move to use with her. Please master down that kick. It is so easy. You just R1, if it lands, then you hit the person with the square, and I'm going to show you right here. Now right here, you're going to see me fighting a Berserker. Never, ever fight on the bridge. That's why I ran right past that bridge. Fighting on the bridge, fighting near a cliff is a bad idea for us. Now, we can win. We can win. There's no bushies on a, on a thing. But if you're going against a Warlord or anybody like that, I I really do advise not to fight on the bridge. As you can see, look at that kick. Once the kick lands, they can't do anything. The only thing to stop the kick is if somebody pokes you in the middle of it or if they jump out of the way. All right, next thing for my no bushy warriors, watch where you're fighting. As you can see, we're fighting in a small impacted area. I tried to run away in the beginning, but he came leaping at me. Now, Berserkers, if they're up close, they're just gonna hammer you with barrages of attack, but oh my God, look at that teammate coming in the clutch. I mean, I already was beating his ass, but that jump from the sky was too fucking beautiful. I was happy. But yes, whenever fighting Berserkers or anybody like that, mainly Berserkers and Peacekeepers, they have the same fighting style. Now with no bushy, what you want to do is you want to keep your range because we are range type players. And if somebody is blocking all your attacks like he was just doing earlier, try to get in there and get a grab. Just keep dashing, sliding in there to get a grab. Now, I don't know why I was losing so much stamina, but I was, and which gave him a little chance to make a comeback. But you see, he's blocking the hell out of all my moves. So that's when you go back in for the grab because it's the least expected thing. And then you give me that head, boy, one time for the one time. All right, my best advice, my very best advice when fighting Kenseis, they are very good with their up attacks. They have an unguardable up attack, and as you can see, I wasn't, I, I don't know why I wasn't guarding from the up, but bam, hit that kick on them, hit them with a little bit more bleed effect, then I do my back R1, that back R1 is going to get you a nice one. That's what happens when you press back. That is our hidden stance. Hidden stance is the best move to use, especially on Kenseis or anybody else who least expect it, because that hidden stance, hold on, I'm, I'm going to run that shit back one more time. I'm gonna show you. Very good on the bridge. We just gotta use our kick move effectively and watch out for grabs. Surprisingly, this big guy didn't spam his grabs, so down he goes. Now, when fighting a heavy hitter like this guy, you gotta wanna try to keep your distance and watch out for his up attacks, his his big swings, cause he got some mean big swings. Now, um, uh, if you know how to parry real good, good parriers, I mean, they are the best to go against him because half of the time his swings are so slow, you see him coming like that. I just kept my distance, make sure I get all that bleed effect. Every time you see you use a purple move, that's a bleed effect. And again, there you see, Give me that head, boy. One for time for the one time. Besides Orochi. Now, Orochi ain't as annoying as these two guys. But uh, Peacekeepers, as you can see, keep your distance. This one just ran away from me. Uh, the Berserker, all they do is swing from the left or the right if they're inside. You see, I had to make sure he didn't get my left nor my right. You just got to keep him where you want him. And then you get that head slice on him. So if they're on your inside, watch your left or your right. Most of the other times, if they're from a far distance, you know they're going to do their leap of faith like you're about to see right here. Why didn't I block it? I have no idea. I think I was playing around or I was talking in a party chat with the clan. Um, you just, again, keep your distance. You start beating that ass. Try to get a, a few grabs in there. A, another great important thing with peacekeepers is their grab. If they grab you and press their R2 and get their heavy in, you're basically dead. Cause that bleed effect is way stronger than our no bushy bleed effect. But again, we're still better. As you can see, bleed effect end up killing her. 
Now, as for Orochi, most Orochis either do this slide move that you're going to see soon. He's going to get his distance and try to come in. Or if they come from the top, they're going to spam a lot of the up combo. And they're kind of like Berserkers in some ways because they spam the left and right. But a good Orochi never does that. Like this one, he was just too easy. He kept coming from the top. That is that sort of spin move and he's dead. One time for the one time. But that's just about everything that I know. Please tune in and stay in. We got an Orochi tutorial video coming up. That's going to be done by Simba. We got another one coming up for Kensei. That's going to be done by my Beto Wolf, which is Pyro, who will be, you know, taking over the clan one day. But thank you all for tuning in. See you later.